Now we will go over the Allies' weapons CPs, playing as the British Paratroopers Regiment. From top left, to down left in the weapons radial menu, yellow. 1. The QF6, the Ordnance Quick Firing 6 Pounder, QF6, or 6 Pounder, was a British 57mm gun, serving during the Second World War as a primary anti tank gun of both the British and United States Army, costs 800 CPs. Quite effective against armor. as well as infantry. 2. The Vickers machine gun, or Vickers gun is a name primarily used to refer to the water-cooled .303 British, 7.7mm, machine gun. The weapon was known for its durability and dependability. In the book Weapons and War Machines, Ian V. Hogg, author, relates an action in August 1916, in which the British 100th Company of the Machine Gun Corps fired their 10 Vickers guns for 12 hours straight, shot over a million rounds, and used 100 barrels, but never had a single failure. The cost for the Vickers gun is 300 CPs. 3. Bren static machine gun, good against infantry far to mid-range, downside, it comes with small ammo boxes. The cost of the Bren MG is 200 CPs. Remember tip number 4. Machine guns, should always be placed in barricades so that your flanks are covered. This costs 100 CPs extra. You can do this by standing close to the MG, then press and hold keybind, F, now select, upgrade, middle right. Quick note, must be in the vicinity of a CT or supplies, indicated by yellow thingy with numbers in the top left of your screen. Now from the top right, down, 1, ammo box, does as it says, provides ammo for our troops, they cost 300 CPs, 2, the heavy 4-inch mortar, the Royal Ordnance Factories made the Ordnance ML 4.2-inch mortar for the Royal Engineers. It is the game's largest caliber mortar, having a range of 2,600 meters. It comes with high explosive and smoke shells. Despite its larger caliber, it has the same 3-second reload time as the other mortars in the game. The 4-inch costs 350 CPs. 3. The medium 3-inch mortar, the Ordnance ML 3-inch mortar was the United Kingdom's standard mortar used by the British Army from the early 1930s to the late 1960s. It did not have sufficient range compared to the German GRW 34 mortar. The 3-inch cost 250 CPs and also comes with smoke and HE rounds. Playing as the US 101st Airborne Paratroopers. These are almost the same as the British Paratroopers. So I will only put in that is US related. M1919 A4, 30 caliber Browning machine gun, was the most common variant of the series. The driving force behind the development of this variant was the lack of reliability in the previous 18-inch barrel versions, which did not produce enough recoil to cycle the action reliably. The M1919 A4 is a cheap low-mount emplacement, and very effective against infantry. It shoots around 400 to 600 rounds per minute, and costs 200 CPs. Mortar M2 is a 60mm smoothbore, muzzle loading, high angle of fire weapon used by US forces in World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War for light infantry support. Shoots around 18 rounds per minute and has a range of 1,800 meters. The mortar M2 costs 250 CPs. Tip Don't forget about the smoke shells in your mortars. These are often more effective than HE shells at assisting your team. You can select the smoke round by pressing keybind, too. Bottom right corner, white, is your ammo count, to rearm any weapon emplacement such as the mortar, MG, or anti-tank gun. When standing close by it, press and hold keybind, F, then on the left rearm. Note. You have to have a CT with CPs within the vicinity of the mortar. You can drop supplies, so you don't have to leave an empty CT standing around. When the mortar won't reload next smoke round, just get out, and then get back in. After this it should reload just fine. This is still a post-scriptum bug with mortars when switching to smoke rounds.